In 2024, it is guilty until proven innocent if you're a man, and especially if you're Mick Man. But there's one guy having the former boss's back, and that, of course, is Big Sexy, seven foot tall, Kevin Nash. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. Kevin Nash, I don't know if he's been on the wine, I don't know if he's been drinking, but he was on his podcast. He discussed the Vince McMahon sex trafficking lawsuit. And uh, he, makes a, he makes a little bit of sense and he makes not so much sense. He also defended his friend Triple H who he claimed was sabotaged and harassed after the WWE Royal Rumble post-show press conference. I mean, Nash can say what he wants about that. I mean, I personally think Triple H should have known that he was having a high percentage chance of getting asked something McMahon related. I think Triple H should have responded better at the Rumble, but Nash thinks that he was harassed and whatnot. But he also thinks that maybe McMahon isn't exactly guilty. A couple of days ago, he sent out a message hoping it wasn't true and he's the only one so far that we've seen really not condemn McMahon. No one is, up until this point, no one's really come out and defended him. There's been a couple of people that have just come out and said they hope it's not true, Kevin Nash and Mick Foley, but it seems like Kevin Nash is double down a little bit now and he pretty much says that he doesn't really think McMahon is this predator that he's been made out to be. So this is what Nash said, it's not that lengthy, maybe two paragraphs, so we're going to get into it. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll just read his quote and then we'll give our opinion on it. So here we go. This is what Nash said on his podcast about Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Quote, this wasn't a 14-year-old girl that was given a man a hand job for 200 bucks and brought back to her to her trailer house. Like that was not the situation. So it's like when they start using she was being groomed and she was this and she was that, I'm just like Jesus, like how did like she not get out of this? I don't know this woman. She could have very easily have been, this could have been a consensual relationship. It appears to me that through reading what I've read, that at some point Fence's wife found out about it and said, cut this off, which he immediately did. And the situation from there was they worked out an agreement. There would be no, this relationship would not go forward and this was what you would get. You would sign the non disclosure much like the other four women had. It wasn't like there was some kind of pattern here. You know, if somebody is such a predator and so deadly, you lock that person up. There's so many things that if you know Fence and you read into them, it's a fantasy. It's a power thing. There's no free black guys that are, it was a fantasy. It was a fantasy play. And the girls come back and say, I can't do Wednesday, I can do Friday. I'm sorry, man. It's hard for me to fucking just take all this shit and just throw a motherfucker under the bus when they're trying to because they're not going criminally. When they're trying to get what they can, pay-wise. Because you know, $3 million settlement, that blonde girl's getting a million of it. So you know who's pulling whose strings here, question mark, end of quote. So that's what Nash says, quote for quote. And some of it doesn't exactly make sense. But I, I get the point that he is making, and I think some of the points he's making here is some of the points that we've been making since this entire thing broke out. This woman only seems interested in the money. If McMahon was such a predator, you would want him to go to jail. You would want him to pay the, the consequences. You'd, you'd want to lock that person up. You wouldn't just be interested in getting whatever you can financially. Um, like I said, it, it did sound consensual. There was text messages where she was agreeing to things. It only got cut off when Fence cut it off. Janelle Grant didn't cut it off. It was due to Linda. And of course, Janelle Grant's attorney can say it was horrible, this and that, but she will be right into this because she's going to be getting a healthy payout from the situation as well. So, I mean, I agree with Nash. This wasn't someone that was underage or someone that was, like, vulnerable or being held hostage. This wasn't someone that was, like, trapped and being contained by McMahon. This is someone that was turning up to do their job and to receive expensive gifts from McMahon and to receive money from McMahon for sexual favours. To me, this is like some sort of sugar daddy relationship and all of a sudden, because it stopped and the money stopped, 
it's turning into some sort of like witch witch hunt victim abuser bullshit and I don't think that's the case and I don't think Nash thinks that's the case either. Vince McMahon is getting backed by the guy that's getting not backed by his quads in about 25 years because they left long ago. But you know what? I, I actually like to Some see people think McMahon doesn't have to le a leg to stand on and neither does yeah, Kevin Nash. That's the one thing they've got in common. Neil legs. They've, they've, they've blown out their quads uh -huh. on numerous occasions. But uh, yeah, it's good to see someone back, out, uh, back up McMahon. Nash, it's a bit mumbo-jumbo here and there, but... You get the point that he's going for. So we fuck wrestling likes it. Uh, we love a bit of mumbo jump. Okay, Kazimoto predicted all this. But yeah, I think Nash is right. I see the groom term. I think if you're of age, I don't see how you can get groomed. I think groom is for like a minor. So I think his example at the start makes sense in terms of that. Like at the end of the day, we've talked about this a million times. We don't want to beat a dead horse. This was consensual. This was someone getting paid. And, and while they were getting paid, there was no problem. See, as soon as it stopped because of Linda, whatever, that's when it became a problem. And you know what? That's actually the worst thing Linda McMahon could have done. Stop it. Obviously, she couldn't have foreseen all this. But with, with the amount of affairs that McMahon's had over the years, but I guess the way the world go and how woke it is, believe all women, it was just a matter of time for us to catch up to him. Yeah, I mean, th this same thing happens 20 years ago and it's probably not a big deal. Yep, but... Uh, but uh, it happens now and even though, I mean, the circumstances could be the exact same. If, if what happened what happened in this case happened 20 years ago, I mean, it wouldn't even be a big deal. It would pretty much be, okay, she slept with this guy, did sexual favours for money, he paid her off. Uh, that's the end of it. But now it's like women can do no wrong, even when they choose to, you know, sexually sell themselves. All they have to do is just change their mind at any moment. And that's it. You know, all of a sudden they go from essentially being prostitutes to victims. So, I mean, it is bullshit. Nash also went on to comment on Triple H's response to the accusations during the 2024 WWE Royal Rumble post show press conference. And Nash said the following quote, my friend got harassed because he didn't, in the middle of Royal Rumble weekend, he didn't while he was trying to book two, a women's rumble and a men's rumble and the rest of the show and moving forward along with the fact that one of their stars, uh, two of their stars out of the top 10 are now out injured. He didn't take the time to read the 63 pages that his father-in-law had already backed out of the company and said, I'm done, end of quote. So Nash thinks that Triple H didn't have the time to read this 63 page document. He thinks that Triple H was harassed. This is where I don't really agree with Nash. I mean, even if Triple H didn't read the 63 page document, which I'm not sure is true, because I, I think something this important Triple H is going to read. Right, let's this. say he didn't read the 63 page document. He's been given bullet points, he's been given the highlighter. Like, we, we, we use highlighters, right? Not in cases this deep, but the reality is he's, he's been told, like, right, this is what's happened. No, I, 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 I honestly don't know why Triple H just can't say at the moment that this is, that, that there's nothing but allegations and yeah. I can't comment any further on it. Yeah. That, yeah. That, that's Tell all he had to Tell say. Tell us a verdict. I'm, no, but I'm, right, I'm going to completely... I'm not even a fair thing, but even, like, you know, until there's more information. Aye. But all, all I have to say, like, at the moment, these are purely allegations, and I can't comment on, on it right now. That's but, all but while it's an open investigation, I don't think they should say anything until it's completely, like, the verdict's out there. Just to play it safe, play it by ear, so to speak. But see, Nash, I'm going to disagree here, right? See this entire gimmick of, oh, he's, he's having to book a Royal Rumble weekend... Yo, he's got people to help him. Nash is making out here that Triple H was working like 72 hours straight trying to book a rumble. See the way he booked it was fucking shite. Here, try booking Nitro Thunder, Nitro Thunder. You book this show and the guy gets injured. And you have to wipe it off the whiteboard. And, and then, then this you guy, get... <laughs> don't work for me, brother. So then this two hours off the goddamn table. Why didn't Janelle Grant just say, don't work for me, brother? <laughs> I'm not getting shit on. Anyway, guys, there you go. Kevin Nash. Oh, no, but before we end this, I mean... Uh... What the Nash is a he, he seems like a knowledgeable guy, right? Does he think all these news outlets aren't going to fucking ask this question? It's like the biggest news story in WWE since Ben Wall for me, like in terms of con. It is. I mean, if you want to take death off the table, it's probably since like what the the bodybuilding drug steroid thing. Just because it's Triple A, he's just backing up his body here. It, it, you know, it's... But you know what? I actually respect Nash, and I respect him more than I, I respect anyone else that has commented on this so far in the wrestling bubble because he's came out and he, he's just looked at it 
and he, he he's looked at it and he, he's gave his opinion. He's he, he's not like tried to throw sure, McMahon it. under the bus or you know play play to the the victim side or whatnot. He, he, he's looked at the evidence provided and he he's gave his logical reasoning and opinion on what he thinks may have happened. And like we say, it's innocent until proven guilty. Everyone else pretty much has just condemned McMahon and assumed that he's done it. Yeah. Or assumed that, that like, he was an abuser. And But like Nash said, after reading it, Nash is a smart guy. He read it. He thought it was consensual. We thought it was consensual. I think anyone looking at it non-biased would think it's consensual. But see, most of the people that think it ain't consensual, I'd say a good eight. I mean, I would say... A good portion, a good to, percentage. To believe all women crew. Yes, but it's also people that hate McMahon and want them to have nothing to do with the company, so their favourite wrestlers get pushed, and also it's like AEW fans. See, in terms of the actual people out there, right, that aren't, like, delusional with the, the left side of, you know, the, the, the pillow, so to speak, and also this wrestling booking today's the roster stacked pish, how many actual normal thinking people out there think McMahon's guilty? I, I would struggle, to, I would say it's probably less than a thousand people, and that might sound like a crazy number, but I honestly would go as far as saying that. I don't see how you can look at this and fucking determine Vince McMahon's guilty of what? Nothing? What is it, what, guilty of what? Paying a woman and buying her gifts for sexual favours? Like I've seen people comment in our feed saying like they've lost respect for a man because like he's into shitting on people and I think that's fair enough if that disgusts you then that's alright but at the end of the day if he disgusts me I'm not gonna I'm not gonna defend it like but if it's consensual he didn't do anything per se wrong even though I think it's fucking rank and it's almost worth a jail sentence in its own length but it's better to be it's better to shit on than be shit on yeah, anyway guys that's it I think if Kevin Nash squeezed for a shit man his fucking legs would go I like Kevin Nash, he's came out, he's... I mean, he's not even defended his... He's not, I wouldn't even say he's defending McMahon, I'd say he's just not throwing him under the bus. Aye. And he's looking at I it think, fairly. Honestly, I think this is what most people... I think this is what the answer should be. I, I think Triple H should have given an answer like this, but obviously he's in a position where... I would say this is a pretty neutral enough answer. He's not like... He's not, he's not blasting her on... No, he's not, but I think if Triple H gives the same answer... As this on, on, shut down. on the Royal Rumble, I think Triple H is unemployed by uh, Monday morning. Probably, oh, fuck I. See, if Triple H responds the way Nash responded here, I, I think we he's unemployed. Want, uh, what's so, the name, Janelle? I mean, we want Janelle. It is, it is what it is, but I mean, it, maybe, maybe, you know what, Nash is retired, he's made his money, he's doing well, He's he's got his royalties, he, he got a podcast. He, he doesn't need this. Yeah, I mean, he, you money. know, he doesn't really need to kiss ass or, you know, bow down or, or say He's the right still things. getting money for the Time Turner contract. Yeah, I mean, Kevin Nash can say what he wants and what he feels, and we, we see more often than not Kevin Nash does. So I respect Kevin Nash. Don't always agree with him. Sometimes I think he's got some weird takes, but I do agree with what he's saying here about Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Anyway, guys, let us know down below. Do you agree? And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, Kevin Nash... Listening to Kevin Nash interviews is more important and more interesting than watching two jabroni tag teams wrestle on SmackDown. And yeah, so there That's you go. That's a shame. Yeah, big cap. Big cap. Till next time. Peace.